Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be going through a fix to local drive V randomly appearing on Windows 10. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the first solution is to change the drive letter. So hit Windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in disk mgmd.msc and then press enter. Once the disk manager opens, locate the disk that is randomly appearing and then right click on it and then click change drive letter and paths. Now in there, click remove and then restart your computer and see if the issue is resolved or not. We can also do the same by running few commands on command prompt. So hit Windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in CMD and then press Ctrl, Shift and Enter and then click OK to open up the elevated command prompt. Then execute these commands one by one, disk part, then select volume E and then remove letter equals E or the letter of the drive that is appearing in your case. Now the method number two is about updating Windows to the latest version. So hit Windows key along with S and then type in update. So once the Windows update menu is open, Simply check for updates and update your system to the latest version. Now the method number three is about checking for network drives. So click this PC and look under the option of network locations. If there is any drive present in the section, it means that it's shared via net. In case it's not there, you can continue to troubleshoot further. Now right click on the drive that you found in the network session and then select disconnect. So now the drive would be disconnected and you won't be seeing it any further. Or we can also do the same by elevated command prompt. So hit windows key along with R to open up the run dialog and then type in CMD and then press control shift enter to open up the elevated command prompt and then execute the following commands net space use space e colon space slash delete and note that in the place of e you can replace the symbol of the drive that is appearing in your case now the solution number four is about checking for roach external drives so make sure once again that there is no external drive attached to our pc in case you find it out then that's a good news that means that you overlooked it so we hope that one of these solutions would be helpful for you guys make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel we'll see you in the next one take care bye